welcome to You Beautiful Creation. I'm Tina Jackson, and with me today, I have my co-host, Renee Clements. <laughs> Hello, Renee. Hello. <laughs> hey, How Ms. are you Tina? doing today? Wonderful, wonderful. Great. Praise God. Great. I yeah. like your new glasses. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Temporary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, amen, amen. Just a little clearer. Thank you, Lord, for total restoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Speaking amen. of restoration, yes. can I start us off? Yes, I'm absolutely. Sorry. You know what? You guys... Maybe you don't know this, but we do believe and pray and ask mm -hmm. the Lord for His direction. So majority of the time it is what you want to say, Lord. And mm -hmm. that's how we want to <laughs> heed to what He has to say. We may have an agenda here, yeah. but we're open to the Holy Spirit, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, to hear what He has to say and just let us be just vessels that He flows through. Mm -hmm. So just so you know. Yes, yes. We, we <laughs> don't really have everything all planned out by no means. <laughs> But you know what? We want to go according to his plan. Exactly. And you know, I had no idea I was going to say, hey, nice glasses, and then be thought and, and think about my daughter, you know? Let's go um, there. All right, we're going to go there. <laughs> we're going to save that for a different place, but we're going to go there now. Amen. So, okay. And many of you have heard throughout the years, if you've been following us, that we've been praying for um, eye rest, our eyes to be restored. And it's for 2020 vision Amen. without having to wear corrective lenses on. Okay. okay. So my daughter, Amanda, I love her, and she is 15, and f she's wore glasses since about the, the age three-ish because her eye was, like, going inward. We didn't know she had a problem because she was so young. You couldn't, couldn't talk. And But when her eye started to droop in, obviously there was an issue. Went to the one doctor. Okay, you got to have eye surgery. Another doctor, this, that, and another guy just put some glasses on her, you know. So tweaking the glasses. It was like a plus four vision. Uh, you know, I don't know. It started off with, um, her vision started off at 2030 and 2025. And it was just pretty bad. It was pretty, like, a, I guess, pretty thick, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, you know, she got older. And then when she realized that, um, you know, there's healing in the blood of Jesus, She's like, well, Mom, can Jesus heal my eyes? And I'm like, well, yeah, that's what we're believing for. And I was believing for that, too, because my vision was, um, I don't know what mine was at that time. But we both began on a journey. And I want to say she must have been close to seven years old, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we just began to believe for healing and for our eyes. And um, our prescriptions, both of our prescriptions kept going down, 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 down. Yeah. And uh, so I was like a negative something and she was uh, a positive something. So we both got to 1.25. And you know, the, the, the end result is the, be the zero, you know. And uh, so it was so cool because just a few couple of years ago, she was like, mom, I am so done with these glasses. And she just tossed them to the side and did not pick them up. And so I had to um, get her uh, eyes checked because she's going to do driver's training and everything. Yeah. And she goes, my, I'm, my eyes are healed, Mom. In the name of Jesus, my eyes are healed. And we went for an eye, eye appointment, and her eyes are healed. Not only did Jesus heal them 2020, he healed them better than 2020. Praise they are 2010 God. and 2015 as of now, and they'll probably get better even better as we go, you know. And it was just such an awesome testimony because every time we go to the doctor, we would tell him, you know, we're believing for the blood of Jesus, you know, to heal her eyes and, you know, the manifestation to come forth. And to get that doctor's report of that um, from start to finish is just a wonderful confirmation to have. So not only being healed of being allergic to cats just because she wanted a stray cat and she couldn't have one and she said, well, have Jesus heal me, Mom. You know, <laughs> we prayed and Jesus healed her and my husband, who never even asked for prayer. <laughs> so <laughs> Double yeah. whammy. So, yeah, so we had the two cats, too. So, you know, it's so wonderful to see the testimonies of healing and wholeness mm -hmm. and to see it manifested in the life. And, you know, we all have certain trials and tribulations we're going to have to go through and certain things happen. But pressing in and decreeing health on your body to speak into the eyes and and you know yeah. I was like as I was so delighted and I said well honey you beat me to the the zero mark but that's okay I'm I'm happy for you I'm <laughs> thrilled for you it just gives me more inspiration to keep pressing in and believing and and mm -hmm. uh, what an inspiration Amen. I, I'm so excited to see what her generation you know she is such a you know a faith Go get her, just that childlike faith. Just believe, mom. Just believe. <laughs> I'm like, 
Thank you, darling. <laughs> so. Right. Well, that's what the, like the Lord says, too. He says, only believe. Mm -hmm. Even myself, you know, like it wasn't, you know, I hadn't had my eyes examined in a while, and I thought, well, you know, the last pair of glasses I had were getting a little scratched up and things like that, but still in all, when they did do my exam, it, it had very slight, very slight. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. So I'm believing as well, you know, for total restoration and all things. Like the Lord says, the Lord renews mm -hmm. your youth like the eagle. Amen. And so I'm believing God for that too, spirit, soul, and body, you know, totally, you know. So Amen. that's, and ho hopefully that's an encouragement for you guys as well, right. you know, to right. trust the Lord for, you know, every day, not just, <clears throat> excuse me, just for protection for one thing mm -hmm. and the others for your health. Right. Because he said, what, in Third John, he said, I love it. I, I pray above all things, you prosper, be in health, mm -hmm. even as your soul prospers. And Amen. once again, how, how a person thinks, so are they. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse Amen. me. You know, once it, we're, I was talking, Kim and I were riding on the way down, and we were talking about, um, remember when Jesus said to the, the person, uh, I think it was the person that was crippled, mm -hmm. will you, mm -hmm. will you be made whole? In other words, according to your faith, be mm -hmm. it unto you. Right. Many a times he has, he has mentioned that. And um, it's like, come in, come in agreement with what I say to you. Because Jesus, I never see in the Word of God that he, he denied anyone. Right. A right. Everyone that came received. Right. Come with purposeful heart and mind right. that that's, you're going to receive. You're go he says, believe. When you pray, believe, like Mark 11, 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. When you pray, believe, you receive then and there. Amen. And you, he will said, you it. have it. Will have it. Yes. And then again, that goes with that one scripture we were talking about before, I believe it was in Psalms. Uh, you know, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So what are you thinking and meditating on? Going back to that meditation, uh, meditating and, and seeing, you know, like my daughter, she goes, I see myself without glasses. And she was done. Yes. And I, you know, and I <laughs> questioned her. I said, were mm -hmm. you able to see, you know, like, like, like what happened, honey? What was the process? Was it a, 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 you, a instant? Was it a two week period that, you know, were things still blurry? And she yeah. goes, I don't recall, mom. I, sh I just, I was done with them and I didn't want to have to wear them anymore. Right. And I just had no desire to pick them up. And I said, Jesus, they're in your eye, your hands. Amen. And that was it. And she goes, and it just, I could see. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <laughs> Praise God. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> well, she goes, it is, Mom. Just do it. <laughs> that's I'm like, Nike, right? you know, just <laughs> do it. <laughs> exactly. Simply believe that you receive, mm -hmm. you know, and um, just, I know like some, I've heard different ones say in testimony wise, you know, that they had a problem smoking or something, you know, mm -hmm. and they, they knew that they wanted to give it up. And, but they said every time that person would light up, they just say, thank you, Lord, that I am delivered from this. Thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. that I am re the redeemed. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time they would go to light up, and they said, and then they got to the point where they didn't, they didn't want it anymore. They laid it down. Right. Even to, to if you truly want help, it's right. available. Yeah, absolutely. There is nothing impossible, like the Bible right. says, with God. Right. All things are possible with Him. Right. Mm -hmm. So as you know, in our own strength, we've said before, you know, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, you know, these groups sometimes when they say, oh, okay, I'm going for um, AA or something like that, you know, it's kind of like, you know. Um, it keeps, put, well, we had that one lady that was at our ladies' retreat who, um, she was a part of AA, and she says that, uh, are you, I think you actually left a few yeah, hours before she started yeah. talking about it, but she said that they would make her recite that she was an alcoholic or something like that, and she goes, I couldn't go to those meetings anymore because I've been redeemed by that right. in the name of Jesus, right. and I don't, didn't want to claim that anymore in my life, that to be a stronghold. And Amen. so she just, you know, she goes, I just was, she goes, I couldn't go anymore. I mm -hmm. couldn't do that because I'm not going to keep confessing that. I'm confessing I'm made new. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Jesus. The old has passed away. All things have become new. Yes. And, you know, and, and it's not to bash AA if you're going through that. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to, to do, you know, I just want to bring an enlightenment and awareness to mm -hmm. maybe some of the things that they're making you to decree mm -hmm. that may end up being a stumbling block for you. Right. And receiving, um, you know, the fullness that Christ has for you and becoming a new creation in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. and to take on what Jesus has. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, then too, you know, we can also talk about, um, you know, sometimes it is a, a spiritual infirmity that is in a person mm -hmm. that needs to come out. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I wasn't going to go here, but we're going. <laughs> but we actually had <laughs> a, a gentleman that um, was was moving, and uh, a, a former student of mine, and he fell off the back of the U-Haw and hit his back on mm -hmm. the hitch yes. of the U-Haw and um, was completely like in severe pain, severe pain. And he went a, a good day or so and finally, you know, and he was texting me, Tina, pray for me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I'm praying. And then finally he's like, I need you and your team to come pray with me, please, please, please come. And I was like, okay, we're coming. And so we came and, and uh, Renee joined us on the phone. Kim and I went and Renee joined on the phone. And as we begin to pray, you know, the the spirit of discernment came. It's like, well, first of all, the home that you moved into, which is the home that this happened at, it felt like there was a spiritual demonic thing that was a stronghold that was there. And as we began to address and break off and telling basically this a spiritual cleansing take place into that home, and he is... Uh, starting to, to feel a little better in the sense that he's able to even move and roll over as we're praying in the name of Jesus for all that infirmity to come out in Jesus name. He began to dry heave like he he was like just standing and he's like oh my gosh like and it's like yes yeah, spirit of infirmity come out because it was like attacking him because his wife even said I believe this is a spiritual attack mm -hmm. you know because we moved into this home and this and that. Once we address that in the spiritual realm because sometimes you got to cast out demons. Not to say that he had a demon, but I believe a, a spirit of infirmity was on him because he mm -hmm. was a born again, spirit filled believer, but it was upon him. And we prayed it off of him and he was like, he, he, was, he got his healing and he was, he was healed. He was able to walk around, move around. His wife was texting me even that night. He's still walking around, he's still moving around. Praise God. And he's healed and, and he's like, so excited because he could not move an inch. Yeah. And it's through the prayers of, you know, taking our authority Amen. in this atmosphere. It wasn't that we cried out to God. We didn't cry out to God. We spoke to the circumstance back. You get into alignment. Inflammation, you go down. That's what Jesus said. He goes, speak to the mountain. Amen. Call those things that be not as if they are. I call this, you know, pain-free in Jesus' name. All the nerves in that leg to be healed in Jesus' name. All that nerves in the back to be healed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you speak to it. So it's a different way of praying then I think what I was, I know what I was accustomed to praying when I was younger, you know, it was all God had to do it. Pleading with the Lord and yeah. asking him to do it. And he said, I've already given you the power and dominion and authority. Now mm -hmm. you execute it. Right. Basically, is right. Yes, exactly. So, yes. So it's like, like, like the Lord says that when you pray, he said, speak to the mountain. Mm -hmm. In other words, I've said this before, it's just like setting a thermostat in your house. Yeah, yeah. Speak to what you want. Right. Say that the end result mm -hmm. is what you mm -hmm. want to have. Like the Lord says, you, you call for the dog, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're calling for the dog to come, right? Right. That's what you're, that's what you're addressing is the dog. Come on, you know, yeah. come. Yeah. You're not saying, go away, dog, or, or I hope you come, dog. You, yeah. you're not, <laughs> you know, no, yeah. you already know, and you're, making mm -hmm. a, you're placing a demand on it. Right. But that's what, like the Lord said. He said, you do likewise. Right. Speak to that storm. Mm -hmm. or mountain or problem, whatever it is mm -hmm. in life, tell it to go. Mm -hmm. And it has to obey, the Bible says. It mm -hmm. has to be, mm -hmm. obey. Right, you and know. it does. It does. Amen. You see the manifestations of it. Yes, and laying hands on the sick, like Jesus oh, yeah. said, you know. Mm -hmm. I know prior to we were talking about being baptized with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, you are endued with power mm -hmm. from on high. You become much more, mm -hmm. not because of you, it's because the Holy Spirit within yes. you quickens you even mm -hmm. to address that certain thing right yeah. then and there, as opposed to saying, well, we hope it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. No. What mm -hmm. is your hope? Your hope is in the Lord. Your Lord the Lord has already said to you, mm -hmm. the things I did, you shall do also. And greater. And yeah. greater. Is yes. he Jesus, our example? Right. Yes, he right. is. Exactly. And he, yeah. Go ahead. And you know, that's speaking of laying hands on the sick and stuff and laying hands, there is an anointing transfer that can take place. Amen. And you know, not to go on feelings, but some you can feel it, you, can sense you know, it. you yes. can sense it. Even like last night when I was praying with those people to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, they said they felt like, because I, I even said, here comes a wave, because I could feel the, the whoosh, 
you know, and you probably just felt it coming through the screen. Some I of feel you. Right now. Yeah, I know, me too. It's like, <laughs> whoosh, and you release it. You yes. release it. It's like, whoof. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah you may get some goosebumps yes, or something. It's the anointing. Yeah, and it breaks the yoke of bondage. And it's the yes. Holy Spirit, like we talked about earlier, yeah. the omnipresent. Yeah, and to, yeah, that's what He wants you to do. He wants you to release it because yes. it's in you. So He's like, touch the people, mm -hmm. even if you're just a whoosh, a Amen. wave through the, the TV screen, you yes, know? Absolutely. And He's like, let them feel my presence. It's mm -hmm. not us. It's Christ in. Mm -hmm. It's it's the anointing that wants to go forth and touch you, so you know that He's real. Amen. And just like Tina was talking about the guy about mm -hmm. you know here Kim and, and she went and prayed with him and came to him, you know, and me via phone mm -hmm. praying over the phone yep. with them. You know, it was a point of contact. Mm -hmm. And it's just like the Lord says, you know, what point of contact are you making? Mm -hmm. In your faith, are you believing? That's mm -hmm. where it is. Jesus right. says, you know, it will be according to your faith. Amen. If Amen. you if you believe, you will receive. And he had faith because that's why he was like, you know, I yes. know when you guys come and lay hands on me, this Ooh, is yeah, going to come off the me baptism in Jesus' of the Holy name. Spirit. Oh, yeah, right now the Holy Spirit is uh, right here. Ooh, yes. The goosebumps are rising here. I know. Because he wants God. you to know these secrets. Amen. He doesn't want it to be... Um, so he wants you to know, you know, yes. because he wants you fully equipped. You are ordained to go do these things, to help these people. Yes. You know, it's not about you being locked up in your house or in your own little Christian world. It's about the Christians coming out and just helping the people mm -hmm. because if they can get helped, they may receive the Lord then because they're going to be like, well, I want that or I want to know who you're commuting with to you know, Get be free and, and walk in victory. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. You know, it, that's what we're hoping that you'll be encouraged to keep on doing yes. and doing. Yeah. So, amen. 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 And, and I just want to know, Tina, right now, just mm -hmm. if anybody's right now needing any healing yeah. in their body right now, amen. there is no time or distance in yeah. the spirit. Because mm -hmm. remember, God is a spirit. Mm hmm. And those, he said, like you said, will worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. We have the truth right here. Yes. You know, just like when Jesus, when he was facing Pontius Pilate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Pontius Pilate, I know I've said this before, he said, what mm -hmm. is truth? Because it's like, in the world, you don't know anymore what is truth and what is error because mm -hmm. there's such a deceptive spirit, mm -hmm. which the enemy is about. Right. But the Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. And those that come to him, which we're coming to him right now, and right. knowing that he, we have the petitions, we have his word on it. Mm -hmm. And he said, what, I'm, he's exhorting his word. Right. He said, even above his name, and they go hand in hand because he and his word are the same. Right, right. So even to say that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They're in lead together, they're one. Mm -hmm. And we're coming in as agreement as one. So those of you out there right now, yes. if you're needing healing in, yes. in your body, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, if there's any spirits of infirmity right now, we bind and command those to come off our yes, people right yes. now in the name of Jesus. Father, we just praise you and we give you all glory, Father God, for the praise reports, Lord Jesus, for those that are right now, headaches yes, come yes, off yes. in Jesus' name. Any mm -hmm. pressure upon mm -hmm. the mind right now in Jesus' mm -hmm. name, oppression, depression, mm -hmm. you leave right. this person right now in Jesus' name. Yes, clarity, yes, yes. clarity, mental Sound clarity in the Sound name of Jesus. We yes. thank you, Lord God, for clarity, Father, in the name of Jesus right now. Yes, yes. And shoulders, if there's any shoulder injury right now, we just speak to that shoulder injury for that scapula muscle, that, that the scapula area to be the rotator cuff, um, to be healed yes. right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We call forth healing yes. in that. We call forth healing to come forth in the spine, Father. All those discs to just begin to get enough cushion between them. So we yes. just call forth a, a filling of those cushion discs so that they're no longer collapsed. Father, we just call them to not be inflamed, but to come into a, uh, alignment, right alignment now, in and to, name, to the, yes. yeah, the sponginess that they're created to be into and a shifting of the spine. If there's any pinched yes. nerve, Father, in we Jesus call forth a shift yes. to happen right now in Jesus' name. Oh, there's the anointing right in now that breaks the yoke of bondage. Oh, Thank you, come. Lord. Let's Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank yes. you, Father yes. God, for yes. aligning the spine yes. in yes. the name of Jesus, yes. Lord. Full alignment Thank in you, Lord Jesus', Jesus. name. Yes, yes, and we pray for kneecaps, Father. Yes. We pray for kneecaps to be healed and restored right now for uh, new cartilage to form where people need cartilage. No more clicking, no more yes. um, grinding you, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Thank you, and we say Creative healing and miracles. wholeness on yes. those kneecaps and, yes. and Achilles tendons uh, too being uh, healed in Jesus' name. 
uh, the bottom of the feet, just that muscle stop cramping. In Jesus' name, we call forth a stretching out of that muscle yes, to no longer yes. hurt and and uh, no more discomfort. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, in to Jesus walk freely, name. upright. Yes, in, Jesus in Jesus' name, Jesus having a head lifted up, and nice and high of just shalom. In Jesus yes, name the glory of God yes, upon in you. Jesus name. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank hallelujah. You, Lord. I give you all glory, Father God. Thank you, Lord. For yes. we know in Colossians, yeah. he says, mm -hmm. he said, the Lord came to destroy, disarm the mm -hmm. enemy. Right. To manifest right. the Father's glory. Yes. And he has done that. Right. And right. thank God he does that through his, mm -hmm. we, his bride, his vessels. Right. To right. To absolutely do the same as he did. Mm -hmm. And in that, you know, some of you are saying the enemy, you know, the enemy, yeah, Satan. Satan in John 3, 10, I, it says, you know, that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. And Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. Praise so God. there is an enemy that's trying to attack. And, you know, sometimes things are brought on people by their own stupidity, ignorance, right. or whatever, right. you know. But Jesus can heal and redeem all that as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And it, it's all about he, God wants you well. He wants you healthy. He mm -hmm. wants you strong. And to just receive, woof, uh, a fresh... Um, just revelation of that, mm -hmm. that you don't have to do all these works, you don't have to jump through hoops to receive your healing, just receive it now, just just Jesus receive name. the grace of God, that's grace. Grace is God's unmerited favor, saying, I don't deserve this, I, I am, you know, it, it's just Jesus' blessing, <coughs> receive the blessing that Jesus gives you so that you can become the ambassador, a strong warrior, you can do what you can do to help others, mm -hmm. you know, the sick doesn't, you know, can't really help the sick. Right. You need the strong yeah. to that's help right. the like sick. Like he says, he says, you know, blessed to be mm -hmm. a blessing. Yeah. And that's what he means, spirit, soul, and in body, you know, in every arena of life. Jesus mm -hmm. said, I, I became poor that you might become rich. Yes, yeah. So Didn't that means it? that, you know, those that are wanting to be entrepreneurs and just you have a business idea, God mm -hmm. wants you to prosper. He mm -hmm. wants you to go ahead, run with that, that idea, you know. And that way you can either, uh, you know, bring a blessing to the community or employ more people so that they can have a job. You know, it's not all about, you know, oh gosh, I come to Jesus, now I gotta go to the church and serve as a pastor. Uh, well, no, you don't necessarily have to be doing that. You could be a blessing having your own company and, and just being a godly mm -hmm. man or godly woman to, uh, you know, bring the atmosphere of God into their lives. You mm -hmm. know, it's wonderful. You know, maybe you're a photographer, you know, and, you know, you just, it's its beautiful. It's a beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful, I would, actually, photography would be so cool because you get to see all God's creations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's major benefits to it. But, yes. But really, in, in essence of well, what is your heart saying, you know, for yeah. you to do? I mean, it's like, Lord, because the Lord said, if you ask of me of wisdom, I won't lavish it upon you. Mm -hmm. So, He's not wanting you to do without. Mm -hmm. He never has wanted us to do without. Right. You know, and unfortunately because of religion and traditions of man have caused people to think otherwise. Mm -hmm. But in essence, it's what the Lord says about you. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're to find out. He wants nothing but good for you. That's right. what. That's why it's called the good news. Yeah, it is good news. <laughs> it is. And that's yeah. the other thing is God is love. So yes. he's the spirit love. So. God wants to love you. He wants to be with you. He wants to be within you. He mm -hmm. wants to commune with you. That spirit of love, that, that joyful, peaceful feeling of love. And for those of you, I don't know, that may have uh, come out of a bad situation that don't even know what love is, Lord, I just speak forth an impartation to come forth of agape love wave to hit yes. them that they feel the comfort and love, warmth of your arms just Thank begin you, to Jesus. hold them like Thank they've God. never been held before. Thank you, Holy the, the, your, your voice just begins to penetrate into their ear of, of I love you, yes. and you matter, and you, you mean Lord. something. And, and Lord, I just call all those curses off those, those, those things that were spoken over those people that have had rotten childhoods and just yes. negative words. I just break and, and oh, call yes, all Jesus those curses yes. down off of them. Just a fresh Thank whew, you, falling away yes, of those right curses now. and just a new creation. Fresh. Fresh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Joy and Thank peace. Over them. Gladness. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Such a lightness come over and just be like, mm. 
Hallelujah. Yes, drink that in now. Yes. I just sense it. Amen. I just do. Mm -hmm. and thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We receive that now. In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Thank you, Lord. Agape love, unconditional love. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And revelation about what agape love is. That yes. you can't earn it. You just receive it. Amen. And, you know, and that's, I think, you know, that's the whole thing is when you do understand agape love and have that impartation, you do want to serve and help others to come know mm -hmm. Jesus. It's not a requirement like, mm -mm. it's just because you finally touched something that you want others to feel mm -hmm. and experience. Can I put it this way, mm -hmm. just real quick? Sure. It's just to say that's who you are. Yeah. It's not who you're trying to be. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's you now. You know, you are that new creation in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. You know, and I, I know this show is you, beautiful creation. It's because you and are. And that is <laughs> there. Thank you. Yes, that's exactly mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to be. You are. Because Jesus, it's not behavior modifi modification. Mm -hmm. It's transformation. Amen. Just like, you know, uh, when you see a butterfly, where, mm -hmm. where do they come from? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like us. Right. Being right. brought about. Yeah, you know. so you're walking around, just crawling on the ground, and now you just get transformed and changed, and you can fly, and you can go you so can much fly. further. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. I like to fly. Woo! Fly, hallelujah. Fly, fly, fly away. Amen, yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, we thank you so much, Father, for this time in your word, bringing forth healing and wholeness yes, to people, Father. bringing forth your agape love into their life, that they are transformed and changed, and that your anointing just fills them afresh and yes. sweet Ooh, sleep throughout the, the night. Yes. Hallelujah, Father, for a Amen. cleanliness in their atmosphere, their Thank home, you, or Jesus. wherever they're, sweet, they're residing. Yes. Father, sweet, sweet presence of you in Thank Jesus' you, name. And we give you praise and yes, thanks Lord. for all that you are doing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Well, that's all we have for today's show. And I know that you have been transformed and changed as you've received the healing anointing, the agape love anointing, and walk forth with joy and gladness today. For you are a beautiful creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>